nine years ago, my left eye started twitching. I thought it was due to stress because my husband was ill, but it just got progressively worse. And then I started researching and found out I had hemifacial spasms. Well, hemifacial spasm is a very unusual human condition, but it's caused by a normal artery that insinuates itself in an abnormal position up against the facial nerve, which is the nerve that moves the facial muscles. And by the constant heartbeat, uh, it's thought that the artery rubs the nerve to the point where the covering of the nerve and the insulation around the nerve gets uh, damaged. And then abnormal uh, involuntary impulses fire the nerve off, which then fires the facial muscles. And you see this grimacing of the face on one side, hence the name hemi facial spasm. Well, it first started up here, twitching the eye, and then it moved to the mouth, and it was like this. And I would talk to people doing this. And, I, and then my husband first said, I look like one eye jack. There are virtually two treatments for hemifacial spasm. Almost anything else other than these two treatments invariably fails. The first treatment is Botox. Botox like people use to get rid of their wrinkles. Well, obviously Botox is a toxin. It's a toxin that hurts nerves. Well, if the nerves are hyperactive and they're causing your facial muscles to twitch and grimace, a little bit of toxin in those muscles can quiet them down. And then when I started getting Botox and the water would dribble out of my mouth, he called me Quasimodo, and I think, well, I had no pain, no pain, so I was, going, I was willing to live with it. I lived with it for nine years. I would walk around like this all the time. And then my girlfriend Faith said, please, get the operation. She knew of Dr. Giannata because he had done her hairdresser's surgery. And that's how I came to Dr. Giannata. He's fabulous. <laughs> you must learn when you start to do this surgery that you're not quite sure what to expect when you actually get into the area around the facial nerve. There, it could be compressed by a number of different vessels in a number of different directions. Well, so once you get along the learning curve, you understand that. It's, after that, it's relatively straightforward surgery. Remember, there's nothing abnormal in there. There's no brain tumor in there. There's no vascular malformation. So you're not dealing with, in the true sense of the word, pathology. You're dealing with, in effect, disordered normal anatomy. Once you understand that, the surgery becomes pretty straightforward. You know, he took a look at all my records and things and said he knew exactly what he had to do. And it was my choice. The procedure happened here at USC Medical Center in July 2008. It's my one opportunity to make a pretty woman prettier. Now that is almost exclusively relies on the purview of plastic surgery or dermatology, but every once in a while with a hemifacial spasm, I get my shot, <laughs> you know? I'm not saving anybody's life, but to take a very pretty person with a very disfiguring condition, make that go away, makes everybody happy, including the doctor. Dr. Giannata and, and USC is the best. <laughs>